watching Niagara Pro Tips. In this video, we're going to take a quick look at some of the capabilities of the web wire sheet and programming through your browser. I'm connected to this station via Niagara Remote, and I already have the nav tree open to the points folder of the main AHU BACnet device. First thing I'm going to do to get to the wire sheet, is I'm just going to right click on one of the points in that points folder, and then click show on wire sheet. That's going to take us here and that point is selected and out front. I'm clicking out into the open white space and then right clicking and selecting arranging all. Pops up with a confirmation there. Go ahead and click OK. Now when you discover points and you add them to your database, you go to your wire sheet and they're spread in that array sort. That's fine, um, but when you go to do wire sheet programming, you typically want to arrange it or organize them on the page in a way that makes sense to the programmer. Uh, that way they can easily navigate and select the points that they are looking for. One quick note that I'll show here in the web wire sheet as opposed to the workbench wire sheet is that if you, for zooming, if you hold control and then scroll wheel in and out, you're actually moving your whole browser, uh, the zoom, as opposed to just the wire sheet view. Zooming on the wire sheet is done with these three buttons up here. Magnifying glass plus obviously is zoom in, magnifying glass minus is zoom out, and then zooming to the default is just by clicking that magnifying glass without anything in the middle, and you'll notice just to the right here, we also have a uh, thumbnail map, just like in Workbench. Uh, in the Workbench wire, wire sheet view, that way, if you do have a large and complex wire sheet, you can navigate yourself that way. Now, right next to the zoom is the select all button. So I'm going to hit that because what I like to do is I like to stretch all of the point blocks to the point where I can read the full length of the point name. And it looks like I got that right, and now I'm going to arrange them in my preferred fashion. What I typically like to do is to keep the thermostat points in the top left, space temp, and then the relays. We'll keep those there. Now I'm going to grab the set points, and I'm going to grab those and bring them up here, set them in a row just to the right, and then the modes. Fan mode, occupied fan mode, unoccupied fan mode, system mode, etc. Put those there. And then lastly, here is our cool and heat stage enables. And then the occupancy, the external occupancy override point. And this point, we're going to do some linking to. So if you noticed on the home page here, I have an occupancy override point. This is a global point that will then allow me to override either me or the operator of the station, operator of the station, to override uh, the occupancy of all of the devices on the network. So that's what we're going to link. Again, just gonna go here, right click on a point and then show on wire sheet. And let's talk about two of the ways that you can link, that you can make links in the web wire sheet. The first, is just by going and grabbing the point here. This is the awk override point. That's what's connected to that button. You can click and drag it out, and you'll notice that there is that little arrow. If I'm on the left side of this point block, that's going to create the link as the landing spot being what is receiving it. If I put it to the right, you'll notice the arrow flipped, and now it'll make the link as though it is coming out from that landing spot. We want it to land there. So I'm going to drop that there and it pops up the make link wizard, select out from awk override, and then select our priority where we want it to land here. I'm going to hit cancel here because we're going to do it one other way as well, but this is your typical link creation, whether you use link mark or click and drag or any of those. Another way to do it here, 
is by using the search sidebar. So that's this magnifying glass on the left side of the browser window. And it's going to pull up your search bar. In this case, our query is going to be n colon name equals single quotation mark awk override and then close it with the single quotation mark hit enter it'll run that search and now I can click and drag that into now this likewise if I land on the left the destination is receiving it if I land on the right the destination is sending it so we'll put that there select out select in priority and now we've made that in addition to one-to-one -one links using the search sidebar, you can also do many-to-one or multiple-to-one links using the search sidebar. In this instance, I have switched our view over to the config space wire sheet, which is where the awk override point is that we pulled from the tree and searched in the search sidebar earlier. Because we're sending an override to multiple or making a link to multiple, we're going to flip it so we can search them over here. So in the search sidebar, I'm going to search n uh, colon name equals and then the single quotation mark. And this will be external occupancy override. And then I'm going to close it with the single quotation mark and search. If you had a longer list, you could click the top one, hold shift, and then click the bottom one, and it would grab the whole group, just like most multi-selects. I think most people know that at this point. Or you can hold control and select individuals. That's what I did there. And now I'm going to click and drag these two over. Now, if I dropped it on the left side of this block, it would be creating the link into the awk override point. That's not what we want. We want to be linking out of the awk override point. So I'm going to drop it over here on the right of the block. Now, I could also drop it down on the yellow stripe at the bottom, and that would pop up the wizard to create a relation as opposed to a link. We want to create a link, so I'm just going to tab that guy back over. And this is out of the awk override and into the external occupancy override point. We're going to link that in to in 10 for this one. Hit OK. And now we have that tag on the side. We can right click on that and see that it is now linked to both the main air handler and room one stat. Using the wire sheet in the web views is functionally the same as using it in uh, Workbench. It's a nice, easy way to connect. If you have a remote connection via Niagara Remote or another method, you can do any programming changes you need to make. You can do those remotely without losing any of the capabilities. There's just those few things that are slightly different. The zoom buttons, the select all, things like that where the shortcuts in Workbench would be affecting your browser as a whole and not just the wire sheet view. Thank you.